So how do I purchase a new car through Infinity Banking? That's the question. Okay, I'm not gonna go over the percentage, the finance amount. I'm not gonna do none of that because that might confuse a lot of people. Just gonna go over the question. How do I purchase a vehicle through Infinity Banking or Infinite Banking or through a cash value life insurance policy? Okay, just gonna explain that. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and erase this part here so that I've got some place to work stuff. All right, that's Rod's question. Once I answer the question, then you've got to ask yourself, does it really make sense for me to do that? Right? You got to evaluate it for, for yourself. You look at the numbers. Let's say you've got an IBC policy, Mr. Rod. You fully funded it, it's in place. There's going to be a starting cash value amount when you initially start the policy. Roughly within, say, 10 business days, you can get access to your cash value, right? Let's say you went with Guardian, say you went Mass Mutual. Okay. You're going to take a cash value loan out against the policy. Let's say the car you want to buy is 30 grand. You have to decide um, are you trying to finance or lease? Let's say you want to buy because that's what you wrote. You want to buy a car, 30 grand. That means you're going to buy it outright. There's going to be no payments. No payments means what? No interest. Okay, great. That $30,000, let's say you went with Mass Mutual. You now owe $30,000 in the policy at 5%. Okay. So $30,000 times 5%. In the first year, you'll pay $1,500 in interest if you keep the 30 k outstanding in the policy for that long. So when you borrowed against the cash value, that money landed into your checking account. You then went to the dealer, you handed them a check for 30 grand, you walk off the lot with that car, bam. Signed all the paperwork. You owe nothing to the dealer, you paid nothing in interest to the dealer. You now owe interest to yourself, okay? This 5% loan interest, where is it gonna go? To the insurance company, right? We know this, okay. Where does that insurance $1,500 go? Who owns the insurance company? If you're with a mutual life insurance company, who owns the insurance company? The policyholders. You've got a stake in the company. Therefore, you get paid a what? A dividend, return of premium. For owning the policy, for being a policy owner and a policy holder, you're gonna get paid. That money's gonna eventually come back to you. You're gonna get all $1,500? Not right away, not off the bat, over time. Yes. So it creates a wash effect. Okay. Now you have to ask yourself, Rod, does this even make sense? Should I even do this? Right? You might say yes. You might say no. Here's where you would say yes. Let's say you have horrible credit. You have a $500 credit score. If you were to finance with a dealer, they would charge you 14%, right? Terrible credit. 14%, then yes, this would absolutely make sense because instead of paying 14%, you could pay 5%. And then that 5% is gonna come back to you in the form of the dividend. So you really don't pay the full 15, hundred dollars in interest, right? And then the, uh, the 30 grand that you accumulated to buy the car outright, you're now gonna pay yourself back over time. Let's say it takes you two years to pay yourself back. So you're gonna pay the 30 grand back plus whatever the interest is for those two years. Right. Let's say the uh, um, the first year you knock off fifteen thousand dollars of principal. So then you pay seven fifty in the first year, and then by the second year, you pay another probably total fifteen hundred dollars, maybe or less. Right. So that's how that works. That would be like a yes. The other reason you would say yes to this is if you got nothing else going on, no other investment opportunities, no other ways that you could produce more profit than 14% saving on a, on a vehicle, right? Here's where it would be a no, Rod, is if you have beautiful credit, right? If you have beautiful credit and you can get a 1% to 2% financing on a vehicle, right? Or 0% because that exists. If you have wonderful, beautiful, spotless credit or really good credit, let's say you get a rate around this, 
zero to one or two percent. And guess what? Because you went with a credit union, it's simple interest, not amortized. No money down and you just pay a little payment over the next six years, 30 grand divided by say uh, 72 months, your payment be $416, right? Then that would be a no. It wouldn't make sense for me to borrow from the policy. Why would I do that? To pay 5% back to myself. I don't, I don't, I don't know how to comprehend that just yet. Maybe there's a, a opposing argument to say, no, Denzel, it always makes sense. But to me, it doesn't. Because if I can go leverage my great credit to get a 0% rate on a $30,000 vehicle, and I don't have to deploy 30 grand up front and I can finance it, pay 416 a month over six, seven years and pay nothing in interest. I'd rather do that and then deploy my 30K elsewhere and earn what? 25%, 10%, 9%, 15%. That would make more sense to me. So hopefully that helps you, Rod.